is an unsung hero of the tennis world and taught greats like Venus and Serena Williams, Arthur Ashe, and Leslie Allen. Step out your right foot. Today, at the age of 99, Bob Ryland is still coaching and shows no signs of slowing down. You are the most active 99-year-old man I've ever met. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'd say so. I would not have guessed you're 99. Yeah. What's the secret? Well, you got to keep fighting. <laughs> and fight he did. In a time when white and black athletes were not allowed to compete in the same tournaments, Bob created his own path to success and climbed to the top of the sport. What was the difference between being a, a, a black tennis player and a white tennis player? Well, a white tennis player, I think, had more help than a black tennis player. But it was tough back in the day. What made it so tough? Because of segregation. No, it was bad. Now, Thea Gibson from Harlem. All that changed in 1956 when Althea Gibson broke color barriers, becoming the first African-American athlete to win an international Grand Slam title. Three years later, Bob Ryland made history of his own as the first black man in the country to play tennis professionally. But at 39 years old, the prime of his career had already passed, and he stopped short of national recognition. Does it bother you at all that history doesn't seem to remember your story? <laughs> well, see, you don't look at that. You block it out. You can't fight it. We're going to fight <laughs> I had to make my own break. <laughs> the impact of his legacy is evident today. Though he no longer plays, Bob teaches kids the love of the sport. I just have the back here. I think that it's really fun that he got to change the rules and now all people get to play tennis. How much longer are you going to come out here and teach these kids? I, I don't know. I think 100, I don't think I can make it. <laughs> What do you tell some of these young tennis players? I tell them, look, listen to your family. Listen to your coach. Study hard. Play hard. Eat the right food. And do the right thing. You'll make it. Simple advice from an athlete who came up during not so simple times, but whose success is owed to ambition, determination, and it seems a dash of humility. How do you want people to remember you? Pretty good tennis player. So. Just a pretty good tennis player. Yeah, right. yeah.